we call informed decision making. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about making the right impression today, specifically on presentation skills. So hence I asked to go last for obvious reasons. Uh, one of the things that we'll talk about today, and my colleagues have passed out this thing for your memory sheet, I want, want you to make sure that you write down what makes effective presentations. We'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, fortunately, we had great presentations uh, so far, so make sure that you write things down and we learn on what makes effective presentations. So I need feedback from you. I'm going to write down your responses. This is brainstorming. No, no, everything goes on brainstorming. So throw out, what do you like about presentations? Go. Graphics. Graphics. What else? Short. Short? Stories. Stories. Excellent. Informative. Informative. And that can be statistics. What else? Readability. Say that again. Readability. Readability. Can't see it, probably doesn't work. What else? Personality. Personality. Define that for me. What do you mean by personality? Everybody's got it. Somebody with an engaging personality, something interesting. Engaging. engaging. I like it. Applicability. Yeah. Say that again. Applicability. Applicability. It's got to be applicable. Good. What else? Passion. Passion. Is that right. Energy. Yeah. Energy. Okay. Facial expressions, etc. What else? Keep coming. Prizes. Prizes. Like it. <laughs> Always good. Can't go wrong with prizes. What else? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay, subject matter expert. Engaging. Engaging, got that. Uh, define that, what else do you mean by engaging? Um, I like interaction. Interaction, good. The missing piece. What else? Preparation. Preparation? Gotta be prepared, know what they're talking about. Organize. Organize. What else? Anything else? Some humor. Flow? Appropriate humor. Humor. Absolutely. Appropriate, of course. <laughs> Gotta keep it appropriate. Non discriminatory. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make sure the audio works. You might go in advance because I've been to presentations where you can't hear the speaker. First job for any presenter is to be heard. Can't hear it? Doesn't matter what you say. Lighting. What? Lighting. Lighting, good. Temperature of the room. <laughs> room, we'll just put room and that means set up, it means comfortable. What else? Nice time. Nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Gray shirts, black pants. <laughs> Gray shirts, black pants, yeah, there is, there is a code. You gotta stay in the code. What else? Visual. Say that again? Visual. Visual? What, what about? Good. Stimulating. Stimulating. Okay. Now, we can sum up all of these into four categories for presentations. Make a note of these because you got to have all four to be a good presenter. Now, by presentation, not just up here, but even one-on-one -on -one interaction. The design, the well thought out, logical flow. Nobody will remember more than five, so keep it to five or fewer points. Four is better than five. Three is better than four. So transitions, etc. Delivery skills, of course, body language, that's the energy, good facial expressions. Notice nobody up here said podium. Podiums don't work. Movement is a good thing. So make sure you have that, as well as gestures, etc. Third piece is visuals, not just PowerPoint. Nobody put PowerPoint. You did say visual, but you didn't say PowerPoint. PowerPoint is support for the presenter. Emphasis remains here. I'm the focus. The visual supports me. Interaction, involve the audience, uh, ask open-ended questions. We like this kind of a presentation where there's questions and answers, exercises, make sure that you involve the audience whenever possible. The six by six by six, which I didn't note on the last one, on your visuals, make sure no more than six factoids, six lines, six words per line. Minimum font size for any presentation, 24 points on your power. So keep it up. So obviously if we add interaction, that's the best thing for any presentation. 
the ultimate goal is to deny the audience the right to misunderstand. Make sure it's very clear, concise, keep it moving, and the interaction is the best way to do this. It is the missing piece that we've got to have. So there's our contact information. IFI training, we're corporate training, uh, soft skills, presentation writing skills, and we're based here in Utah. So we'll love to work with you. Thank you. Thank you.